Her final second agony as her dream of Olympic gold came to an end at the Makuhari Hall in Tokyo. The three-time world champion led South Korea's Dabin Lee by two points but a three-point head kick right on the button gave her opponent a 25-24 win and a place in the final. It echoed Lutalo Muhammad's last second loss in his gold medal match in Rio in 2016, and swiftly followed defeats for teammates Bradley Sindon and Lauren Williams, both of whom had to settle for silver medals after seeing leads overturned late on. Wachtin who was also edged out in the final in Rio before rallying to claim bronze through the repechage, was faced with the prospect of having to raise herself for a similar shot at a place on the podium in the Japanese capital. But whilst Sindon and Williams will be able to reflect on highly successful campaigns, missing out on gold again will represent a crushing blow for Wachtin, who has largely dominated her plus 67 kilograms category for the best part of a decade. She had started with an efficient 17-7 win over Kansel Denise of Kazakhstan but faced a tough test against Lee, like walked in a reigning world champion but in the higher, non-Olympic 73 kg category. Wachtin struggled to take control of the contest despite erasing a 3-1 deficit at the end of the first round and heading into the final three minutes locked together at 10-10 with her opponent. A two-point body kick gave Wachtin a brief lead and she went back in front with 10 seconds remaining. As Sindon and Williams had already underscored, 10 seconds is an awful long time in Taekwondo.